Hello everyone, welcome back. We are on episode number 21 of Random Encounter. Um, and all this sort of podcast intro stuff that I do. Um, it's not always easy to work out what I'm going to say. So on this occasion, considering we have done something that I personally try and avoid at all cost. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to swing this one open because... It, it does happen. You can't always sort of avoid it. I ended last session in the middle of a fight. I, I, that just made me feel uncomfortable. I don't know about anybody else here. The GMs that are involved already, you know, I, I there are two major GMs, two people here that I know GM other than me quite a lot, and there's Dave and, and, and JJ. D -d 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 does it make you feel bad when a session ends in a combat? I don't know. For me, it, it kind of felt wrong. You want to go first, Dave? It depends on how dramatic the the break is, because sometimes it's worth it for that that cliffhanger edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's well, look, it's half past ten. Half the players need to go to bed, so <laughs> it is what it is. Yep. Yeah, and we were. Okay. We... Well, um, uh, yeah, J JJ, your thoughts on half past ten finishes? Right. Bear, bear in mind my Tuesday game, um, half my player base is in CET, so they're an hour ahead. Um, hmm. um, half past ten? Half past ten? No. No, <laughs> um, no it was half eleven on Monday, yeah. It, it was, and then gone, it was gone, gone mid, nearly it midnight. It was half eleven when I said I needed to go to bed, and then we had another encounter. I, I have desperately. <laughs> I, I will hold my hands up to this. Quite literally, <laughs> hold my hands up to this. I kind of wanted to get the players to a certain point, and I had been sitting on it for a while. Um, and I hold my hands up to being thoroughly guilty of. Oh, we could, we could just. Just, 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 just get through this next bit. Just, do we just, just, just get through this? Just, just come on, just, we'll, we'll just narrow down. We'll just, we'll just change this just a little bit. It won't have any effect further forward. It's just a slightly different format here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll just, we'll just creep through this. It's all right. Um, I probably should have called it sooner than I did, um, because I utterly hate leaving things in the middle of a thing when I'm running it. Because not only then do I have to. Find my goddamn notes. I'll find my darn notes in in the first place. Just like, what what was I doing? Because my desk um, between games, between the fortnight, then rotates and cycles through various other things. Um, but I also have to remember exactly what each individual thing was doing, typically. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I hate being mid-process and stopping. Well, um, I'll uh, I'll leave that question away from the two generally players because well i don't know what's your opinions mm. let's mm. go let's go with this let's 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 keep going kess leaving things in the middle oh. of something oh i was quite used to your cliffhangers just before the fight starts which is still in the middle of something in my view <laughs> in the middle of a narrative thing um in the middle of a fight i generally play characters who have limited combat capabilities they are usually relatively good at one thing and if they're not doing the one thing they might have something else so for me picking up the threads of what i was doing isn't particularly difficult back when we did actual tabletop with miniatures and maps um we have had times when we've taken photographs so that we could reset it the following week uh, because there was just no way we were going to finish oh, uh, at any sort of reasonable time so do i like it Ideally not, um, but real life and kids and work sometimes means it's a practical choice. Yeah. Mm. And Becky? I guess it depends on if it's face-to-face -face tabletop or whether it's online. Online, I don't mind. I can pick it up and come back to it because it's all on the screen as to where we were and all that kind of thing. When it's face-to-face, -face, it's a bit harder, like, Kes was saying about like taking pictures and maps and you know that kind of thing and trying to reset it next time and at least the character sheets on here if you cast a spell it takes the spell off for you and, and things like this whereas if you're using pen and paper it 
you might forget to note something and then you forget and it's three weeks later or in, in one of the games that I played that Matt GM'd, it was like six weeks to eight weeks later. If we were um, lucky. And then trying to rem- yeah, if we were lucky and then trying to remember what the hell I was doing is a lot harder. So I guess it depends. I, I think one of the biggest things for me going into the, the real world ga- gaming, you know, sat around the table and everything else was one of the main ways I used to do maps was what uh, wipeable dry ra- dry erase maps and one of the hardest things to do is keep your map intact on those things when you've had to take them apart and stack them together or roll them up or whatever uh, it, it it's horrifying to me the idea of being even to some extent on a map between sessions when you're having to do use those sorts of things um but yeah uh, we we left it last time smack it in the middle of, of a combat we we just done the second round of, of the fight i do have some notes mosran you only have one hand on your weapon just as a reminder yes. um and we are about because i we just finished mosran's turn and we stopped mm-hmm. it at the end of that so we're just about mm-hmm. to start the new turn with phalen going first so we're going to drag you all over to that uh, that wonderful map um, so that everybody can see it. I believe at the moment, Moz is currently controlling the camera. Um, I saw it zooming in and out a second ago. Yep, there we go. It's, it's moving around now because it's Moz, Moz shifting it. Uh, okay, and we'll jump over to Phelan. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to very quickly just spin up some music, try and get us back in the mood, try and get us back into this fight. The current sort of history... Oh, that's quite loud. Let me... Uh, let's pull that down. No, oh, well, down you go, down you go. There we go. That's a bit. It's a bit better for my ears, if nothing else. The right kind of encouragement. <laughs> okay, so we are going to have a very quick run into this fight. The current situation you have is that you have taken down one of the four assailants that came after you. Of the three that are remaining, one has jumped behind your lines and started attacking Nephi. And the other two are stacked, one on top of each other, sort of scrambling and crawling around on top of each other, trying their best to attack Mosran. Um, It is going to be failing to start. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can do with this, shall we? So, Phelan, what would you like to do with your three actions at the start of this combat turn? Go on holiday. <laughs> no, in all, in, in, in all seriousness, Phelan is going to reach down and touch up um, Olerin mm-hmm. for a mighty 14 hit points. Oh. Uh. The wonderful heal animal focus spell, just keeping your oh, uh, yeah. keeping your pet alive. And and, and 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 then direct him to make with the badgery jaw goodness on the uh, on the um, thing this between Phelan and Nephi. Okay, okay, yep, that is absolutely fine. Uh, no flanking for Oleron, but. Um... That's uh, less of a problem for Olrin. He's a bit more stacked for this sort of thing. Okay. So in with the jaws of doom. Or not very much for 13. Okay. A 13 is going to miss, I'm afraid. Okay. And he's going to follow that up with some claws. Mm Mm-hmm. That's six. That's yeah, definitely not going to hit, unfortunately. So, you 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 cast your heal uh, down onto uh, Olorin, give him some health, but Olorin is unable to really connect with these creatures. Um, okay, I'm going to, unless otherwise told, did you, you, yeah, you did the. I've used two three actions. actions. Yeah, all uh... three actions. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that means it is then one of these creatures' turns. It's one of the ones that's sort of in this pile of creatures that's uh, that's facing up against um, 
against Mosrin. Now, I believe, Inver, you had a spell going which activates at the start of their turn. I did. See? I'm glad See? you remember. Notes! I was Notes. trying to remember <laughs> if I'd got that on or not. <laughs> so, Sepulchral Mask, this is my bloodline spell. Uh, it forces. So, I'm where it creates a mask, a funerary mask. Its sombre countenance forces your foes to confront their regrets and sins. Each enemy in the area, when you cast the spell or starts its turn, takes 1d4 mental damage and must attempt to will save. Okay, so I'm going to take that 1d4 mental damage straight away then. You, uh, well, if you Unless succeed I... on the will save, you only take half damage. Yes, that's true. Uh, so my will is a plus nine and I rolled a six, so I'm going to get you there with all of a 15 Fails. So that one takes the whole one point of damage I, ro I rolled. Well, and I a mean, minus. Yep. And a minus one status penalty to will saves against emotion effects for one round. Okay. So effectively, I've... it's a minus one penalty to this next time. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure that's noted down. Yep. And then it's gonna have its go. Okay. So, as part of its go, it is going to swing out at Mosrin. Um, it's going to use this wooden chair that it's got first um, to try and really have a, a good crack at you. Uh, a 10 on the dice gives me an 18, which I believe is a miss. It is. Yeah, not not the best for it. Uh, even with its um, its advantage that it gets for being in this sort of swarming mass that makes it a lot harder to pick out where the blows are coming from, um, it's uh, it's not able to um, it's not able to strike at you. The next thing you see is it kind of these jaws coming swinging out at you uh, in attempt to bite you. Uh, Five on the dice. That gives me all of a uh, eleven. Um, so mm -hmm. that's that's going to miss as well. Um, now it, it, they're not they're not stupid creatures, but at the moment they don't. It, it doesn't really feel like it's kind of having a problem here. It's got its mates around with it, so it is going to try and swing again with that <laughs> four on the dice. Uh, a five to try and hit you with that last one. Um, you know, if, if, if it weren't for the fact that you've not got anything which triggers off a critical misses. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, there Good. you are. Uh, Nephi. I cannot remember if last time I tried to identify them. So, so somebody has identified these these creatures, I believe, uh, properly. You know, Moz tried to mm -hmm. do it before, and didn't didn't quite get the the, the, the full details. But uh, I believe you do know that these creatures are called Morlocks, um, and mm -hmm. that you are aware of some of their defensive abilities. So, uh, oh, was it offensive? No. It was one or the other. They, you you have had some information about this. I wish I'd taken down every single note, but I haven't, unfortunately. See notes. Notes everywhere. everywhere. People should take notes. Okay. Um. Because I can't shoot it because it's right up in my face. I mean, so Pathfinder Pathfinder Second Edition rules: you can shoot something mm. that's right next to you. If it has attack of opportunity, it would get to attack you. But there's no penalty for doing it unless you have a weapon that has the volley trait. And I'm pretty certain crossbows don't. No. Nope. That, that's a that's a longbows kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so uh -huh. you you are you are allowed, so long you know to to attack with a crossbow at close range. I mean. If I'm right, to drop my crossbow is an action anyway. Dropping it isn't. Dropping it is free. Drawing okay. your rapier is. would be, yes. Right, so what I was thinking of doing is dropping my crossbow okay. and drawing my call. rapier. Draws the rapier. It doesn't attack mm -hmm. you, so it, it doesn't appear to have any means to to do that. Okay. 
A 19. A 19, especially considering you are flanking, which is obviously a, a big penalty for it, is a hit. Not a critical, but it is a hit. Uh, you will do sneak attack damage, though, so that will be the damage of the rapier, which is 1d6, and your 1d6 sneak attack damage. Is it is it a what, what? I can't. I said, is it a D6 for the rapier? I don't it is. know, and I yeah, can't find is. out how the, to find out. The rapier is a, is a D6. Um, for future reference, if you go to your main character sheet and hover over the um, the bit that says damage uh, on the second tab, um, you will see that it says 1D6. I don't think it likes it when it's popped out, which no, is probably does not. why it wasn't. It, it really doesn't That's like why. that. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was hovering going, I'm sure that's the way to do it. Right, that and my sneak. Oh, nice, 11. 11 points damage. I mean, that that hurts it significantly. It doesn't kill it. Um, you're well aware that these things are fairly rugged. Uh, and this is the first time one of these has been hit. And then well, I've one. got... You have another action Another step. action, so I'm going to stab it again. 17. Is a hit. Okay, but not a sneak damage this time. Uh, no, it? it's still a sneak. It is still flat-footed, and the the way that Pathfinder, oh. the way that Pathfinder Two E works is so long as it's flat-footed, you get sneak attack. Oh. You're My thinking damage. you're thinking of another system where you only get to do that once. Uh, what nine, I nine points of damage. No. <laughs> <laughs> nine points of damage. Uh, yeah, that, that is another significant hit. Um, Inver, it is your turn. Yep. Hmm. So I probably don't need to do... Probably don't need to... There's no good way to phrase this. Buff Mosron's weapon because of the amount of damage we're managing to do anyway. <laughs> Besides, he turned it down last time I offered. Um, this so... is true. <laughs> uh, I am going to... Oh. Target the one that uh, Nephi was on, which I believe is that one. Yep, it is indeed. It is. So it's, it's the one that's uh, jumped in behind the, the enemy lines. So, yeah. Okay. So this is Chill Touch. It deals negative damage, mm -hmm. um, but they get a fortitude save. They do indeed. Uh, but uh, fortitude doesn't generally seem to be the, the best thing that these guys have got. Uh, and uh, nine on the dice for a 16. Fail. By one. By one. That's all that, that the, another, all, all that needs to fail by. Takes another seven points of damage. Another seven. Uh, you've basically taken fairly big chunks out of this thing. It's still going, but it doesn't look no. like it likes being here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's kind of regretting its choice to, to, to jump in and go for the guys at the back. Um... <laughs> And then I'm gonna cast shield as my last action. Okay, <laughs> boom, up goes a, up goes a shield oh, around nice. it. Uh, it is then uh, we're back onto the stack of uh, creatures, the ones in front of Mosran. Uh, I believe I need to make a, another will save because uh, this one will you be did. affected as well uh, <laughs> for a uh, 14 in total. So I'll take that one d4. Three points of damage and a negative to the next one. Yep. Um, but oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. going to then start swinging at Moz. Uh, so again, another chair leg comes uh, flying out from this mass of limbs and teeth and everything else. Uh, a 10 on the dice for an 18. That's a familiar score. I got that last time I tried to hit you with a chair leg. Um, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't work then either. Um, <laughs> uh, then the sort of the, the teeth come flying out. Um, uh, 11 on the dice, uh, which will give me a 17. Slowly but surely just getting worse and worse. Um, and then... Oh dear, you see, they get sneak attack. If I actually connected with you, it would really hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, they could try and bite you again. Um, with a plus 2 on the dice. Well, that's a 7, so that's going nowhere. Um... <laughs> And that's 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 all of that one. Uh, the one behind you then um, mm -hmm. acts now. Uh, it's going to roll a willpower save. 
Yeah, roll that damage full, please, and I'll take the minus <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, so that one is only one point. Oh uh, well, jumped out of the uh, out of the tray in the process. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and swing at you here. Um. By the by, the 18 I'm taking into account the minus two as part of the plus. So I'm rolling 16s. So I'm not rolling 18. So it's but that's a cock dice. And that's a 10 plus seven because it's not swarming. It's a 17. Which would be a 19, technically, because of the flat-footed. Go on, Moz, what, what, what's that? Um, what, AC 20? That's yeah, a miss. yeah, yeah, that's a miss. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, uh, and then comes the biting, the biting, the biting, the biting. No, that's going to miss. Um, and Sing Queen, come on. And then, and then, it actually, le no, it can only leap if it wants to attack. So it's kind of got itself stuck there. I'm gonna try and bite Neffy. Because that's my now my escape route. Um seventeen on the dice, but I'm at a minus I'm only at a plus one. Eighteen. Does an eighteen hit you? It is my AC. It does! Oh, I'm connected with something. Um <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh it's not the thing I'm gonna get flanking on though, so no sneak attack. Yay. Um take four five points of damage as it bites you um it, it's definitely regretting its choice it thought it was going to help its mates by giving some flanking on moz and then none of them <laughs> were able to connect um moz it's now your turn you've technically as got one behind you and two in front of you which reads to me as a target rich environment um <laughs> Because I've got the one hand on the halberd, I believe, if I remember rightly, he downed a health potion yes, uh, just before our break. Mm. Um, putting the hand on is an action, isn't it? It is. It's got to be. Yep. Take a firm grip upon my polearm and wield my weapon thoroughly against the two individuals in front of me. Fair enough. Um, uh, I'm going to go and, and go for a low blow on the one below. Okay, so the one at the bottom is the one that you've been beating up before, so it's already a little bit injured. So, first attack. Let's get that up. Go. It's going to be. That's an 11 plus 11 for 22, please. A 22 most definitely hits. It is not a crit, but it is a hit. That's a 1d10 plus strength. Yep. That gives me a 5 and 4 for 9. 9 points of damage. Um starting to look a little bit like the one behind you for the brief glimpses that you got of the one behind you. Unhealthy would be the term you would give the creature's current condition. I'm going to press the attack mm -hmm. quite literally. Mm -hmm. um, having, having dealt a, a, dealt a solid blow, um, like a, a low cross strike with the halberd, he's going to reach in and go for a brutish shove against the one below. Okay. Uh, so making a strike with a two-handed melee weapon. If it's my size or smaller... Um, it will be flat-footed if I'm successful. Okay. I think it's smaller than me. It, it's the same size as you. Mm, that's a 9 plus... 6. 15? That is a miss. Oh! That is that is just a miss. Um, so going in for that kind of extra effect doesn't quite pay off for you. It is, however, the end of turn 3. We move to the top of the new round, and it is... Phelan's turn. Question. Oh, there is it does a question. Have a first. It does have a failure condition. Oh, what's the failure condition? Failure. The target becomes flat footed until the end of my turn. Unfortunately, that know. was the end of your turn. Yeah. So um, the 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 advantage of that would, of course, be if you'd uh, had an extra action Third. because you'd had to okay. um, grab the weapon. It took up that action. Gotcha. Okay, we go, as I say, to Phelan at the start of the fourth turn. Okay. I would very much like to boop the one between myself and Nephi with a produced flame. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Ooh. Ooh, that should do it. <laughs> Not this evening. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little boop to the back of the head. 
Fine. <laughs> just to give slap with heat. <laughs> uh, I believe that's an attack roll, so, uh, yeah. yeah it, it, it is. It's also a failed attack roll. So. Isn't it, dear? Mm. What did you get in total, if you don't mind me asking? Yes, I do mind. It's rather pertinent. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know that. All right, well, let's, let's try again. Let's let all the people know. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so you still have an action, though, so uh, what would you oh, like to while do? I'm, while, while I'm distracting this by waving fire at his face, <laughs> uh -huh. he's going to have a badger from below. Okay, yes, there we go. Olerin gets in on the act. Okay, so... Right. By the badger. Bitey, bitey. Oh, nat 20. Oh, okay. Critical hit oh. there from Olerin. <laughs> A critical badgering. A critical oh. badger. So is it roll once, double total? Roll once, add his strength modifier, and double all of the whole thing. So it, if it was a jaw bite, that would be 1d8 plus 2, and then double the whole lot. Okay. 20. Whoa! <laughs> Max and damage, badger to the bits. Describe, describe the kill, I believe, is the, the term. <laughs> oh, Olerin latches onto this thing's thigh. It, it looks down. Olerin goes... And crunches through its fem femoral artery. Claret everywhere. <laughs> Most you feel a wet sensation down your back. Nephi and Invar, you are face covered. <laughs> this, this vein just goes boom. <laughs> Pink mist, alabadger. Okay, um, technically, Olorin has another action. Uh, you give him two. So, Olorin is able to turn around and have a crack at the ones on the other side as well, if, if he so desires. Oh yeah, he's 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 feeling red. He up, so. I mean, he's <laughs> now he's now red front to back. <laughs> oh, in, in 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 with the claws on the bottom one of the pet stack. Okay. Of Mars. Okay. And that's only ten. Uh, so that will be a miss. Uh, the the blood is clearly in his eyes, and he's unable to entirely focus on what he's doing. Uh... It is now the bottom of the stack. Uh, it will get to act, uh, but the first thing it will do is roll a will save with a minus one penalty. Um, although I think, did we forget top of the? No, top of the stack failed as well. They all failed, didn't they? There's yep. a three on the dice. Wonderful. Um, so with my will, as yeah, it'll be an eleven. Not a critical fail. <laughs> so uh, take three and continue the. Um the, the negative will. Mm, yep. yep okay um it's kind of feeling a bit kind of woozy and it's not really too happy about inver being there right now um but it is going to try and swing out with the old um with the old chair leg and try and hit mars ah now that's a 17 on the dice um Ooh. with a plus eight i am going to be getting a 25 which is not going to crit you but it does mean it connects no it's sneak toddler. attack because the thing behind just got badgered. Um, so yeah, um, slightly less damage on this one, but not a significantly smaller amount because that is still going to be eleven points of damage. Well, that's substantial. Hmm. Um, it's then going to yeah. try and bite you. Rude. Uh, six on the dice, that's not going to happen, and it will try one more time to bite you, and that's still not going to work. Nephi, it is your turn. I haven't done it before. How does the tumble through work? Do I have to make an acrobatics? It would be an acrobatics Roll. check, but one thing I would say is that um, both of these creatures are stood in that space just there. Um, mm -hmm. And... Um, you can move through ally spaces with no penalty. Yep. So, it is entirely possible for you to do this entire movement to get behind it without having to tumble through. Oh, stop that then. Yeah, I'm just going to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any bonuses for tumbling through? Um, no. I believe for a rogue, if you tumble they through end. something, they end up being flat-footed for the next strike. Yeah. But with Nephi being able to be behind it, they're 
nephew's flanking, so they're flat-footed anyway. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Then I will try and dab the... The bottom one's more injured, isn't the it? The bottom one is quite a bit more injured, yeah. Oh, Ooh, and that 20. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... This whole thing about, you know, the way that sneak attack damage works and everything else, uh, <laughs> that is included in the doubled amount. So roll your 2d6 and double the whole lot. Okay. It, isn't the rapier, don't, isn't it a deadly one? Don't um, I have to... Let me have a little well, look. A I'm not sure. I haven't got my sheet on me. I do, I do indeed have your sheet. Uh, you Thank are you. correct. It gets an extra D8 added on after the doubling. So, 2D6 doubled, oh. then add a D8. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not know. So that's 6, 12, and then I'm rolling a D8 as well. A D8 on top of that. Max on that one. So that's so it. 20, 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. Do you want to explain how you destroy this poor, <laughs> poor defenseless creature that's on the bottom of this stack? Um, as a small moat. I mean, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Um, it's just... Deciding not to do acrobatic flare, I just like swing round. And I go through and I stab right up into its underneath its. Um, chin here but i make eye contact with the one above <laughs> oh nice Harsh, oh, uh, hand, right. like, <laughs> you're next uh rolling for intimidation um uh, hmm. uh so i'm just yeah, gonna... do i get a free intimidation for that <laughs> um mm, I, mm, no <laughs> no with no my second action can or my third action should i say can i then try and stab that guy <laughs> you absolutely can there's still one stood right in front of you and you absolutely can still go for it um just remember that it's at a mild penalty i was two off a crit <laughs> <laughs> well what's your total 22 22 is a hit it's not a crit mm -hmm. that's Nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. I mean, the, oh. the first thing that is a little bit of a surprise to this creature is it's just fallen from a great height because it was crawling <laughs> on top of its friend that, that just died yeah. underneath it. Um, it then gets stabbed in the back and doesn't seem overly appreciative of this. Um, however, unfortunately for it, uh, it still um, goes inverse. after inverse. So, um, <laughs> as you wish, off you go. <laughs> Anyone want to catch it alive? <laughs> <laughs> Why would we do that? Remind me. <laughs> Ask questions. Because <laughs> we're not all murder hobos. Says the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Run like that. The the pie is. <laughs> yeah, she's a pie thief, not a murder hobo. Um, ah, that's bigger. <laughs> what is the difference? <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> I um, in a pie. Mm. You would. <laughs> they have to be dead for that. Um, Take all the heads back. <laughs> that's not what you put. Oh, never mind. Um, I'm going to do chill touch again. <laughs> okay. For seven points of damage. Seven points of damage up close uh, to this thing. Um, it does not look happy. Again, fortitude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let me. I mean, fortitude is not. Oh, it's a natural one. So let's double that and do fourteen points of damage, oh. shall we? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. No. What happens on a crit? Oh, okay. 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 Well, let me. Let me. Mm. Target takes seven, but it is then enfeebled one for one round. Um. Let me just check. Take a status penalty to strength-based rolls and DCs, including melee attacks, damage rolls, and athletics. Mm. Well, no, I still take double damage. Uh, it is a basic. Yeah, it is a basic fortitude oh. save. As soon as you see the word basic, it means that the standard rules of oh. no damage, half damage, full damage, double damage apply. But this then gets an additional effect on top of that of enfeebled. Uh, yep. So yeah, um, he's uh, he's he's looking um, a little upset. Uh, 
to be fair. Um, and then I'm going to cast shield. And then you pop up shield. Um, <laughs> they put with my mouth. So, um, this is a this is a natural living creature, um, a, a relatively intelligent, to be fair. Um, and having seen three of its mates get completely gutted, it attempts to run away. Stab it again, basically. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> 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 With your phenomenal reach. It's the advantage of having a big weapon. That's a 12 plus 11. That's a hit. That's definitely a hit. So as, as it goes to skitter away, he just go, goes for the reverse halberd strike and just comes down with the, the, the tall, long tip bearing down on it for a 5 and 4 for 9. Describe your kill. <laughs> um, much the same as he's done with previous ones it is that, that reverse of Halberd it comes down high right hand, low left hand and surges forward spearing it into the ground not right. quite impaling it into the stone floor so the room now becomes quiet <clears throat> the sounds of combat fade away and we return to this peculiar chamber rubble in the bottom corner um which the morlocks had been trying to dig up uh, for whatever reason but beyond that there isn't really much more in here. We'll go for the description again, as it, as it is written. Mm -hmm. This large open area is a filthy mess, even beyond the collapse to the south that clogs part of the room with rubble. Half-eaten fish, cat-sized beetles, and bits of waterfowl lie strewn about in a tangle amid gnawed bones of larger creatures. You might want to press to digitate Oleron. You might not like cleaning up that much blood. <laughs> and also... I mean, well, yes. I mean, I mean I'll I'll the mask is very part of my face, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, bring your long living matter over here, and I'll... <laughs> <laughs> That's a universal I'm... sign. <laughs> this is a universal sign for pressing digitation. <laughs> this is going to so pay back that later. I'm using it in a different game. <laughs> it, 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 it's apparent on wax on, wax oh, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and it is not to be confused at any point with this. <laughs> <laughs> As I thought it was the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not that kind of dwarf. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna tell the podcast listeners what you've all done. I'm just gonna leave it. Yep. I'm just gonna not, yep. not not descriptive descriptive audio for that is anything. not required. Um They've got imagination. Yes. This is a cross link. This is to encourage them towards the YouTube. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> if you'd like to see more inappropriate hand movements, <laughs> join please us. Consider, please consider liking this video. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So, uh, getting us vaguely back onto track. What are you guys going to do while you're in here? Um... Are we? Search the room. Fish. What is with the fish? Was is going to have a start of rummaging around that dropped off section because half-eaten fish. I think, is it pie? I I think uh, Phelan is going to offer Nephi some bandaging up because I think mm. we're good for bandaging up time. Yes, I would I would say you've 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 had enough time to do that. Oh, focus point back. <laughs> Nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a hair over half. My uh, my 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 industry, so might also be vaguely sensible for a moment. Yeah. Well, I think remembering where things are and how 
All this stuff works. Yeah, I think a 19 is going to get me some healing on Nefs. Mm-hmm. You start. Four. Yep, go ahead. Sorry. That was my fault. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine. There you go. I feel so much better. I then go and pick up my crossbow. <laughs> well remembered. Um... <laughs> okay. So a little bit of patching up there. Um, that mm -hmm. takes about 10 minutes. Um, Moz, are you kind of staying in the situation you're in, or is mm. are we getting some more? That's a good question. Are we thoroughly pushing in down through the south of here, or are we going to... There's a lot of doors this way. <laughs> yeah. Where do we want to start? How much plague have we actually one? got already? Mm -hmm. Oh, heck, Neffy, you just I did on the load, didn't you? I detect magic and wander around. <laughs> <laughs> uh... It will probably please you no end that you do not detect any magic. Ooh! What happens if I go do this I way? These doors open towards the corridor or away? They oh. open into whatever room is on the other side. Mm. Uh, as you head up that way, Nephi, you still do not detect any sources of magic. Okay. Oh, actually, no, um, no, no, my apologies. Oh? My apologies. As you're around that area... You do mm -hmm. detect some magic. My magic senses are tingling. <laughs> guys, guys, it's magical. <laughs> are your poison oh. is tingling? It's a can of No, no, magic. no, no. That's in my bag. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's what's setting it off. I pull out magical pie. Oh my god, it's <laughs> a magical pie. <laughs> is... I despair. So, um... is... <laughs> Are there any haunty, wibbly, spirity, weird things over this way? So you wander around and have a look through there. Uh, how What range is that wibbly... Wobbly. Wobbly, timey-wimey. Um, <laughs> uh, give me one moment to double-check. Uh, no, it's on spellcasting. Uh, where are we, Spirit Sense? Come on. Do as you're told. Mm. 30 foot. 30 no. foot, 30 <laughs> foot, 30 foot, 30 foot. <laughs> um. I'm, uh, I, I need to read the, the full description of that spell. You've, uh, you've caught me out here a little bit. Uh... <laughs> Spirit sense, that's the one it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's it's still there's still a a, a, a check needing to be made. It just gives you the chance mm -hmm. to have that check. Okay, let me um mm -hmm. let me see. <laughs> You do not detect anything within 30 mm -hmm. foot of you. There you go. Okay. Um, now, in terms of... Yeah, so detect magic, you've... As you've progressively got closer to these double doors, that's when you get a sudden ping. Um, the large chamber... Well, sorry, the doors that you spotted before, and Moz has asked me a little bit about, all open into whatever rooms that might be on those sides. I'm very excited about magic, but also I feel like the doors behind us might be a good idea first. Mm -hmm. So many making decisions, or I will just open a door. Okay. <laughs> Which ones are you? I reach Which... out, put the arm across <laughs> Deffy's front. Which Pull ones are you back. feeling most confident about? Which one am I idiot knocking on first, or are you idiot knocking? <laughs> Take your pick. 
<laughs> Just out of curiosity, there general is. general activities while exploring are still roughly the same. Is that correct? Yep, standard scout. Scouting, yep. perceiving, sneaking, and Kess. What does Invar do normally? Sneak. Sneaks. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, sneaks from shadow to shadow because you know part shadow. Mm -hmm. It's shifty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. Let's pop that door. Go for it, Neff. So if Wait, you remember, why am I opening the door? If you remember, the, the doors are quite swollen, so uh, if you do not have athletics, it takes two actions to open them. If you do I have do athletics, it takes have one. athletics. You do have athletics. So as you kind of lean into the door, uh, you are more than welcome to click to open. What you find isn't actually overly exciting. Uh, it is I a through the door. <laughs> it is a ten foot by ten foot chamber with various remnants of what appears to be like sleeping chambers, almost sort of like servant sleeping chambers. Okay. But the condition of the stuff inside is pretty rubbish. I next will door? give I'll give the door next door to us a push. So because I've got the athletics, let's mm -hmm. give it a knock. And same same thing. <laughs> it is a, a a relatively um re a, yeah, relatively low quality sleeping chamber. Um but the, those creatures outside weren't using. That's correct. They weren't using them. Um, now that might be partially because the actual condition of these chambers is terrible. Um, the beds are rotted, collapsed. There's no real um, sort of furniture to use in any way, shape or form. There's just enough that you recognise that that's probably what they were used for. Is it clear what they were digging up or what you said they were digging? They were, yep. Yeah. They were. Um, so, as you kind of have a look around here, the first thing you can tell is it looks like there must have been some chambers under the, the what's now the rubble um, yeah. of some description. Um, but the main sort of thing really is that they were. It looks more like they were trying to scavenge things rather than dig stuff up. It looks like they were trying to find things in there. There are bits where rather than like clearing entire sections, it looks like they've cleared down until they find something interesting and then they've been clearing around the interesting thing to try and pull it out. Um, and it also looks like they were messing around with the ballista that's in here or at least the bits of the ballista mm. that they've, um, they've, they've found. Okay, so they were looking for things to turn into weapons or whatever. Yeah. Tinker with. Yeah. Do we do these doors first? Yeah. Before the big doors? I got yeah. a feeling there's going to be a, more the same from the size of the space. Mm. Yeah. Let's give them a knock. This stairway is blocked, right? It is, yes. Okay. Might as well brace and take the door to the north. Door to the yep. north. Uh, yep, yeah, you find another chamber exactly the same. Yep. Pop the door to the south. I yeah. shall rinse and repeat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, much more the same. It basically, it's almost a routine kind of knock, halberd down, <laughs> check. Knock Halberd down, check. Until the DM says... Are you actually knocking as, on the door? Uh, as in shoulder barge and okay. shove as part yep. of the athletics. Yep. Again, the next two rooms, identical 10 foot by 10 foot rooms. What remains of beds or furniture, bits and pieces. There just doesn't look to be anything of interest in there at all. And we'll do the next set. This is a long corridor for... He's going to just change shoulders and move across. Just cross adjust. <laughs> Use his other shoulder on these two Boom. doors. Straight through that north. door. 
Um, yep, it opens into the same thing. Do door to the south, bang. Same problem. You know, slides and squeaks open, but it's the same thing. It's the same room. Who's going to take bats? Who's going to take bats? It's either through or it's another room. What do we reckon? No one? Another room. Okay. Another room. Okay. Through. This one. Through. Ooh. Divergence in the group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on yeah. through one room. Which way are we going to go? Where are we going to go, Phelan? <laughs> I'm not betting. <laughs> not bad. Okay. It's this piece of pie. Nappy's <laughs> <laughs> <Debbie's> excited. <laughs> I'm gonna vote room. You put your shoulder <laughs> and push into this one. Oh, hell spell. This <laughs> one is. Warned that when the... Go yeah, on. This, this one is definitely different. Ten foot deep, but fifteen foot wide. So north to south, fifteen foot. Ten foot. East to west. Mm -hmm. uh, a desk with a chair sits in the middle of this room with three empty picture frames hanging on the walls. Stood behind the desks, kind of um, messing around with what looks to be like a, like a, a humanoid shape slumped against the wall. Um, but the humanoid shape is copper and brass. Um, and it reminds you of the things that were up in the where the, the cleaning room mm. was. Um, one of these sort of clockwork things. And there are these two of these Morlocks kind of leaning over it, like pulling bits out and then trying to put them back in again <laughs> and all the rest of it. And at one point, they're sort of digging around and, and, and they're doing, they, they seem very clearly distracted by, by what's going on. You push the door open. And they kind of, they're still kind of busy going in there. And then all of a sudden, sort of one of them looks up and pauses ah. <laughs> and kind of looks at you. And I'd like everybody to, to roll initiative, please, um, as we run into a, another fight just towards the end of the uh, end of the session of all things. Can I, I mean, say that surprise. I hand the piece of pie to Inver's mouth. <laughs> 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 so yeah, we we are unfortunately going to go into another uh, you know fight. You've got two more of these creatures um, that you've just had to deal with, sort of sat behind a, a desk. Ooh, no, don't open nope. doors. I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to roll for my two. And I'd like you guys to roll for yours. Mm -hmm. 16 and 6 for 22. And 5 for 11. 22. <laughs> Actually, plus 1. Plus 1. Plus Don't 1. Plus 1s, people. Plus 1. So 23. 12. 12. Nephi. 22. 22. And Phelan. 10. 10. Uh, okay, and then if I just very quickly put my two in, uh, yeah, one of those, and a, uh, oop. one of those, and, okay, we shall start this combat, and we shall, uh, interestingly enough, start this combat with one of the creatures, even though they're distracted, the one that looked up, is kind of fortuitous and it seems to be holding on to like a large piece of metal and it kind of just looks at it in its hand and it goes jumping over towards um, Moz. So for an action, it's going to move over uh, and then it's going to try and swing this effectively chair leg because, you know, that's the that's the way that the, the stats are written. But um, <laughs> equivalent, piece of, equivalent piece of um, inanimate automaton uh, instead. Uh, it's going to get an 18 in total, um, which is not going to hit you. Uh, and then for its for second, uh, third action, second attack, it tries to bite you. Um, that is <laughs> that is going to be a natural 20. Oh my uh, god, this is interesting. So it nice. jumps in and bites you really hard, having completely missed you. I say really hard, it's 10 points of damage. 
Um, as a is, total or? As a total, as a total, okay. including the doubling. So um, it is a significant bite, uh, but that Ooh. is all of its actions. Uh, it is then Mosrin's turn. Um, he's not going to stand for that. He's going to sit down. Um, no, he's going to stab her in the face. <laughs> really hard. Because that sucked. Um, <laughs> um, that's a 3 and 11 for a 14. I'm going to fake point that, or hero point that, because we've got the time. Yeah, you do. Just yeah. about. You do. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll that again. That's a 15. That's a miss. Same retired. That's, that's a miss. Uh, so, obviously, overtaken by the sudden surge and, and can get the helmet to bear. He's going to try again and, and rock it with the blade for a second blow. Are you doing any of your presses at this point? Hmm. I will... We'll push in with an exacting strike. We'll try and leverage that strength. Um, in theory, countering, counting the uh, momentum and make a strike. Um, mm -hmm. If it fails, it does not count towards my map. Yeah. That, that's a five and six for 11. It's not going so well on this one. No, he's firmly distracted. But that's 10 and six for 16. And that is still a miss, I'm afraid. Um, Mosrin reaching out after rather a nasty bite does not seem to be able to connect. Um, Let's see if Nephi can make this any better. I can step into Moz's space and then can I do the tumble through? Uh, you absolutely can, yes. So what do I have to do? Is that acrobatic? It would be an acrobatics check. Uh, the target number is what's called its reflex DC, which is 10 plus its reflex save throw. So I know okay. what that is. I rolled a... 20. You do not manage to tumble through. Um, you get to that point and ah. the creature kind of just seems to stop you in your tracks. Now, as it happens, there is enough space for you to sort of sidestep into the room. Um, so you okay. could do that instead as a continuation of the move rather than... Yes. Could um, I then still go around the back? <laughs> Uh, that would then be all of your actions. Effectively, that extra step into the room is going to take you an action. Oh, Cause, okay. Cause then the, the tumble I'll... through failed, so... Yeah. Okay, I will just try and stab it from here, then. <laughs> I mean, that seems um, moderately reasonable. Uh, 23. 23 is no, a hit. 24, should I say. It, it, that, I mean, it's still a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Six points of damage. Six points of damage. You yeah. you start taking a, a little chunk out of this creature. Um, to make things uh, at least feel moderately good, that is still uh, onto Invar next. So uh, whichever whatever's happening with this last creature in the room, it's going real slow. <laughs> hmm. The mod looks quite a lot less healthy than I'd like. <laughs> <thanks. laughs> there, there is there is a distinct. Um, probably light arterial spray or a light spray across the wall as he's half wrestling with this thing off his off his throat. One of the few vulnerable mm -hmm. points in play, Tama. So, two actions of healing spell. Mm hmm. Um, so that takes about two. I just roll that, don't I? So that's 1d8 plus 1D8 8. 1d8 plus 8. Yeah. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but buy us some time for eleven points of healing. Pretty much getting back what just happened to him, and a little bit more. So actually, it's it's not bad at all. Um, okay, and you still have one more action. I do. I don't really like any of my options, mind, but <laughs> um. I am going to... Two D4, that's interesting. Huh. Um, that's a 
that's not right. Uh, I am going to draw. I'm going to draw. Uh, my shears, I think. Okay, so you pull a pair of these sort of shears off your belt uh, as your final action. Balen, it is your go. Ooh. Well, since Moz is in the firing line, so to speak, I think I should possibly also cast heal to. There's a two action mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. bolster him with a mighty ten more hit points. Okay. Oh, shiny. Um. Mm. There's a, there's a half fellow. Appreciate it. Get this thing up, <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then as a wanna, um, I'm going to move up and just step into one of the doorways. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. So the final creature that's in this room um it's in the sort of position of trying to decide if it wants to go for moz or the creature that just ran in uh, and it's going to go for nephi so it grabs hold of what appears to be a wooden plank off the floor um for one action for a second action it takes a step towards nephi and for a final action it swings that down uh we're a total of 11 um so no. that is that is gonna miss but that is all of its actions due to just the circumstances of, of where it is the one that initially reacted really quickly is going to then start the second turn uh and what it's going to do is using this sort of sort of piece of bent copper piping or whatever it's managed to find its hands on is gonna initially try and use that on moz <laughs> three on the dice for a ten um and then it's going to try and bite you again let's uh, let's see how that one goes um that would be a two on the dice so we'll ignore that one as well uh and then finally uh another attempted bite a 15 on the dice will only give it a 16 so it's kind of in this mad flailing now that it's trying to do moz this thing is in front of you going absolutely it's got your blood kind of pouring out of its mouth and it's got this wide-eyed look on its face it's gonna get a whole lot more in a moment it going in with a halberd so the, the only thing is i can't do a press attack as a first action no um and as much as i want to shove it um that means taking a hand of my halberd definitely need a skill to uh, to fill this gap um so i'm gonna lay in with the first blow and then he's gonna attempt to, to pop shove it after that Mm -hmm. so laying in with the first one that's a 15 plus 11 that's a 26 to strike a 26 uh, is not quite a crit but it's real darn close right okay, done that's a 9 and 4 for 13 13 points of damage that is a real hefty clunk out of this thing you, you see that mad look in its face suddenly kind of go well maybe not um, <laughs> it's gonna have a whole lot, maybe, maybe not. As it is, that was a, a downward strike with it, and he's gonna surge in with a brutish shove. We're gonna try and execute this one and throw it into its mate. Okay. Worst case scenario, we're gonna flat foot it for the third one. Mm -hmm. That's a 19 plus 5 for a 20. 19, yeah, 19 plus 6, sorry, for a 25. That is another hit. And this one, plot the stats. Um, make a two strike if you hit. A target that is your size or smaller, it is flat-footed, and you can automatically shove it with the same benefits as a shove action. Okay, so, first thing, roll the mate. damage. Now we have five and four for nine. Nine points of damage. Uh, so, the shove action is a five-foot push directly away from you. So, in the way that this is, that would fundamentally be there or there if you wanted to move him. If you decide that you don't want to move him, that's fine. In addition to that five foot push, you also get to make a five foot step into the space that he previously occupied. So, yes. it depends on whether or not you want to do that and where you want to put him. Um, I will move him as you suggest. I'll, I'll, I'll bear in with that halberd strike and pushing him up to the right, clearing him away from Nephi, knowing that in theory I'm supposed to be taking the hits, but Nephi's kind <laughs> of in the front of the room. <laughs> and okay. follow up. 
Okay, you do that follow up. Yep. The uh, you, you do have the another another action. I do, and he's in a neg two AC. He is. So I'm gonna have that. Um, that's a fourteen, but instead of being plus eleven, it's minus ten. So that's fourteen for fifteen against his negative two AC. With the negative two AC, that's a hit. Yes. Dive right in. Let's get that one. That's that's a nine and a four. That's thirteen. Uh, describe how you pummel this poor thing into non-existence. So having got a, a, a half a decent blow on the downward strike, he surged forward with the halberd and basically picked it up and borne it over the table, running it forward through to the top corner of the room and stabbing it thoroughly into the door. And looks over his shoulder. The next one. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Nephi, it's your turn. Can I try and tumble through this one so that I stand on his dead friend? You you absolutely can give it a go, yes. <laughs> Again, another acrobatics check. Um, I'm assuming you're trying to get your sneak bonus here by uh, doing the yeah. tumble through. Yeah, 26. Is a success. By all means, move, your, hey! move yourself to wherever you want to be. So you kind of dart through <laughs> and past it. A little bit of a tumble as it, uh, as it tries to keep an eye on where you are and you end up behind it uh, giving you the mm -hmm. opportunity to stab it in the back I make quite a stomp on his friend's face mm -hmm. I mean yeah it's already dead <laughs> 19 19 is a hit that is 9 damage okay this first time this creature's been touched and it's a relatively big old swipe now it's not flat footed anymore because tumble through i believe only works for the next action so uh, uh i don't yeah, think it's think till it the is. end of your uh, turn it might be to the end of the turn and that would be no next attack you so make the next attack before so, the end of your turn yep yeah, so it is not flat footed yeah. this time no but i'll still try and hit it for a nap 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, a D6, double the result, and add a D8. Boom, clear, and steam. Tom, that. So that is uh, 12 plus the D. Not a max on that. So 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage. I mean, you've already managed to stick it once, and it wasn't too happy about that. It gets stuck a second time. <laughs> Uh, and it, it really doesn't look healthy. Um, it's bleeding from quite a few places. Uh, Inver, it's going to be your turn. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, I can get in. Mm -hmm. I believe. Hang on, where is, is it? It's over here with the other dead one, nope. isn't it? No, no, it's, no, it's right there. in front it's of right Mars. Yeah, Nephi's on top of the dead one. Yep, that is yeah. correct. That is correct. In fact, uh, to make life easy, I shall uh, hide the dead one. <laughs> so I can, with a quick squidge past Mosran, yep. mm -hmm. give Neff get flanking. Mm -hmm. um, and for variety, I'm going to attempt to stab it. Because I don't usually get up close and personal with stuff like that. <laughs> we encourage violence. So, remind me how this works, if you could, Matt. <laughs> D20 plus strength plus... D D20 plus 5 for your shears. Um, so, I'm just equip them on your character sheet. You should be able to see that. Um, okay, and that includes my strength bonus? That's everything. That that's includes everything, is. such as it is, yeah. So I will have 8 plus 5 for 13. And that's going to be a miss, I'm afraid. Even with the flanking. That is. Well, now I'm reminded why I use spellcasting. Shield! <laughs> Boom! Up goes this protective <laughs> force in front of you. Uh, Phelan, it is your turn. Right, well, it seems this fella is well boxed in so I shall, <laughs> I shall come up and try and, and bounce a produce flame bolt off, off his head yep that's more than fine um, so there is a slight awkward thing because of where Moz is but yep you can you can kind of have a, a crack at, Mo uh, at that 
a crack at Moz. Sure, go for it. <laughs> Good fella gets me in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, uh, with, a, with, a, with a mighty 13, I don't think I... I unfortunately, unfortunately not, no. Uh, it is then its go, and it's kind of wide-eyed looking. It has, however, realised a small problem. Uh, all the doors are blocked. Um, <laughs> and... It kind of wants to get away, but uh, at this point in time, uh, it's going to firstly take a swing at Nephi. Nephi was who he was going after in the first place, and Nephi's just stabbed him in the back quite hard, and then in the front quite hard. The uh, second time, yeah. So, um, uh, but he's only going to get a 14, so um, he, he doesn't manage quite so much with that. He's then going to turn on Moz with a bite. Uh, 17 on the dice... Um, with a plus five is going to be enough to catch you with the bite. Mm. Um, you've been bitten twice now. That's five damage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm uh, not twice as shy, though. And then tries to bite Inva, <laughs> kind of going round in the circle in, in a hope to get everything. But that's a seven on the on the dice, and uh, uh, that's going to be yeah. all of a, a, a plus one to that, so that's definitely not going to hit Inva. Um, so this thing is basically just going bonkers it's trying to work out a way out of this situation um it's no longer using any semblance of intelligence um you have a feeling it kind of wants to get past nephi but it can't open the door as quickly as it wants to open it to be able to do that um so it's now just swinging out uh, in a hope that it can catch somebody moz it is your turn that's all right i'll catch it stab it in the face <laughs> <laughs> 12 and 11 for 23 23 is a hit stop off the metal metal d10 come on that's a 2 and a 4 for 6 6 points of damage you just take a little bit of a chunk out of this thing uh, not enough to really hurt it that much it's still it's going that, that reverse pole arm leaning over half on the desk just stabbing down at it we'll go for a second one for an exacting strike so it's a deliberate moment picked and that will be, if I roll the d20 as opposed to the 10 to hit, that'll help. <laughs> that'll be a natural 20. Okay, right, well, there you go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain I know what the result of this is going to be, but um, roll the dice, oh. tell us the damage anyway, and then I could, I could. and then narrate. Um. <laughs> that is a six, time, six plus four for 10 for 20. It's less how do you kill this creature, it's more how do you eviscerate it, I think, is the... Um... Well, instead of the, the, the classic um, warning uh, symbol that is known throughout the lands of the individual impaled on a pike, we've gone for the reverse inverted version as, as Mosron <laughs> leans over the desk and just pile drives a pet hal halberd straight into the top of him. Yeah. Coming in somewhere Lo around a clavic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just just the kind of mess that the cleaners want to deal with. Um, so... He'll be along in a bit. Look it up. He'll be along in a bit, yeah. He'll have to, no, lick, he'll he'll have to lick it up. No. Yeah, he has to lick it up. That's the problem. He has to lick it up. Um, so. There's a song about that. Well. I think it's Motley Crue? Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm not much sure, sure. I want to. I want to find out. You... <laughs> Again, get that stillness at the end of a fight. Uh, Mosrun kind of bit of blood kind of coming out the neck where he's been bit. Um, but the magical healing has kind of patched up a fair amount of it, to be brutally honest with you. In this room, this desk, this simple sort of space and, and all the rest of it, um, is this clockwork assistant this clockwork machine its entire sort of innards have been opened up with what the what these creatures these morlocks have been doing to it and inside you can see tiny pristine looking high highly manufactured high quality manufacturing cogs and gears and bits and pieces With a little bit of time, it's possible that you could potentially salvage these things. Mm. They might, for certain people, be worth quite a lot of money. Mm. But as you <laughs> sort of focus in on this, 
what we will say is that sort of camera, that scene fades away and we fade to black on this as we, again, do quite a long episode for us, hour and a quarter. And we're going to wrap up there. We'll stop for this one. We'll, I'm going to let this lot go and get a drink or whatever they uh, decide they want. And then we'll be back and we'll do episode number 22 and we will be ready, I guess, to go further into this place, deeper and potentially darker um, as they continue to look through these chambers. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. Thank you for everybody that has liked, comment, subscribed and done all of that sort of stuff. Um, the slow and steady progression of this channel still makes me smile. Um, there will always be more that I want to do. But right now, it's been nice to see that the sort of community is getting there and we're getting people. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.